Prophet Muhammad then automatically you're following his footsteps on the path of giving da'wah. So everybody must give da'wah. That for going out to give da'wah, may Allah bless you and the brothers who go out with you. But I just have a friendly advice. And next time, brothers and sisters, we don't have to name people and say, Tabligh jama'ah, or this, or this, or that. The advice is general, is for myself and for others. We used to receive the Tabligh jama'ah in the States, in North America, in Europe, and they're still doing this. So whenever they come, many of them speak to their Amir, that you can always come, and you can always go and visit people but with the Islamic etiquette, such as there is nothing that is called that you have to go out every month for three days, or 40 days per life, or four months per year, and Nabi Sallallahu did not state that at all. And your conclusion of some verses, or some understanding of the hadith, is not a strong reference to mandate the three, or the forty, or the four, based on these references. So you can always give da'wah never. And if people are going out traveling to another locality or another community to give da'wah, that's perfectly fine, as long as we're not making any innovation. This is number one. Number two, the etiquette of giving da'wah is driven from, is derived from the Qur'an and the Sunnah. So, uh, we're not abide by a single book, or by the statement of any person, other than the Qur'an, and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I held against some people that uh, they, they, they have been stuck to one book, such as a book which just the sister mentioned, was talking about the privileges and the virtues of certain acts. And she said the tasbih, and she said it stated that in Sahih Muslim. It's not in Sahih Muslim, it is a weak hadith. So why do we rely on weak hadith while we have thousands of sound hadith. Why don't we just study Al-Bukhari, or Muslim, or Riyad al-Salihin, the garden of the pious, the 40 Nawawi hadith, etc. The sound hadith. And study the tafsir, and study the sound fiqh, without being rigid to a certain madhab or certain school of thought. So if we expand a little bit to cover and uh, include uh, other opinions, and rely on our references on the sound hadith, and we only allow the scholars to speak. It is perfectly fine to have supporters, people who go out, convince people you should stop smoking, and convince another person who does not pray, share with him your experience that how did you come to Iman, how did you start practicing Salah, and uh, the importance mm. of leaving your business whenever it is Friday prayer. It is perfectly fine, but who should speak and give the lecture? A knowledgeable person. And you should be a role model yourself. So it is not possible to listen to somebody who has a convenience store, but he's going out to give da'wah. He's selling beer, but it is very fixed in his life that every month he has to go three days to give da'wah. Does it make any sense that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِنْ مَنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَامِلًا صالحة. That you have to practice what you preach, or otherwise you'll be condemned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he says, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لِمَا تَقُولُونَ ما لا تفعلون كبر مقة عند الله أن تقول ما لا تفعلون it could be a wonderful opportunity as many of our brothers mashallah now they started doing that when they collect people and they travel to a specific locality it is not because it's a must to travel three days every month rather we'll take it as a journey to visit our brothers in another community for the sake of Allah. And when we stay in the masjid or stay in somebody's house, we spend this time in getting to know one another, in visiting people for the sake of Allah, in studying the Quran and the sound sunnah. So it will be wonderful if we have a scholar with the group who teach them, or go to visit a scholar so that we have a crash course in a specific science of the deen. These are my friendly and brotherly lovely advices to my lovely brothers whom I don't have any doubt that inshallah they are sincere in their intention and Allah knows best Jazakallah Khair Shaykh